Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be just rambling about the closed beta. So I've been playing for a couple days now, and ever since I got in, I've been on the grind. And I kind of want to give you guys my thoughts. I watched Brighter Shore Central give his ideas and thoughts on the game twice now, and I do, you know, have nothing against him at all. But I want to share my thoughts because it's obviously going to be a different feeling on the game than his because we are different people. So I do want to say before we get started that this is going to be a disappointing game for a lot of you and not because the game is bad, but simply because you guys might be expecting something called OSRS 2.0 and I don't think that's what you're going to get at all here. So I've been playing the game for a little bit and there's so much good about this game, but there's definitely a lot of bad. So I want to start off with some of the bad. So without getting into some of the professions and some of the ways to train these professions, I want to talk a little bit about the botting solutions that will be here. So I've been playing the game and I noticed that there is so many chances for bots to still be in a game like this. And you know they're going to have to fight this in any MMO type of game, but... I think botting and scripting is going to be a very big problem in this game, but you guys probably could have guessed that already. With a game like this, this is always going to be an issue, and they're always going to have to fight back. The problem is, is the dev team is so small, I'm wondering how well they're actually going to be able to fight it back. And before I jump into my next negative, I do want to say I'm only through the first two episodes at the moment of game time. I haven't really gotten to episode three or four as of yet, and by the time I get to the end of those, maybe I'll do another kind of video talking about my feelings, but as of now between episode one and two, I have noticed, and overall, you know, with what we know, and that's why I'm allowed to hopefully say this, is that the social interaction is at a very, very low standard at the beginning of the game, because we know already that trading is not going to be available at start, and then PvP obviously not being available at start as well. You're not going to have too much social interaction, and it just seems to me like this will be a merely single-player experience for a little while. I do expect some multiplayer additions coming as well as, uh, you know, later in the game, maybe some stuff I have not seen. But I'm excited to see where this game takes us. And I think that, you know, just in this beginning phases, it does, like I said, seem like a single player game for the first moments. And a lot of that could be because, of course, I am on a closed beta server where there's, you know, not very many other players running around. I've probably seen three to four different players throughout my grinding experience in the last two days. So I do want to say, you know, just take this stuff with a grain of salt. I mean, the game, when it releases, is going to have a ton more players running around. You're going to feel a lot more socially active with these players. You're going to be able to type to people. It's just right now, like I said, there's not many players running around. There's not many activities you can do together. And because of that, it doesn't seem too socially interactive. Now, I do want to mention one last negative, and that's going to be a big one for me. It's actually the only reason I wouldn't take this game up to a 9 out of 10. It's right now sitting around a 7 or 8 out of 10 for me, and it could be potentially a 9 9 out of 10 or even hitting close to that 10 out of 10. It's just the combat. I, I'm not a big fan of the combat professions and I really wish they would change the style that they've done it in and it's perfectly fine to do it the way they've done it and I wish I could explain more about this to you guys but you will see in a couple of days. It's not a big deal like some of you guys may even think it as a positive as you're getting um, kind of a new complete experience as it's nothing near the OSRS combat professions or skills I should say. Uh, it's a very unique experience a very unique way to go about the combat, uh, the professions themselves. But I will say it's something that I do not enjoy as much as, um, you know, previous games like it. So that's all I'll say about that. I don't want to jump too much into that. As Like I said, we're still under an embargo. So I don't want to just, uh, you know, mention anything that we don't already know. So I do want to actually talk about some positives of the game, because obviously if I'm giving this game a 7 or 8 out of 10, there are a lot of positives. And I want to say the first thing that really comes to mind is the questing. The questing feels good, and we know there's questing in the game. This questing, though, is actually good. It's funny. It's 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 interactive. I do like the way they've went about these quests so far. Um and I'm not going to obviously spill anything about the quests themselves. I would love to, can't do it, but the questing feels really, really good. Uh, the next thing I really want to jump into is a nether positive, of course, and that's going to be the skills themselves. I love the actual skills they put into the game or the professions they put into the game. I love the exact names of them. I love the exact ways you level them. I love the exact ways you get to these areas. The way you actually progress these professions feels good, and I really enjoy that aspect of the game. 
So the next positive is actually a positive to a negative. A lot of negatives have been about the room style mechanic of the game. So the map is basically room after room after room after room. You can't just look left and walk left. You can't just look right and walk right. There's different entries and exits to each room. And we knew that from the start. You know, we know what we're getting ourselves into, but people are still kind of, you know, wanting to try this game out, but they're very skeptical of that part. And I want to say this is a huge positive that you don't feel that in a lot of different situations. These rooms are usually big enough to where you don't feel squished. You don't feel, um, you know, restricted. It feels good. And I will say like here, we have a comment from Tosh's back and he says he just doesn't like the tile system. He's such a hater of the tile system. And I completely agree. When I was watching videos of this, that was my biggest negative of the game right away. It was, I just don't like the tile system. I don't like the idea of being in a room restricted, not being able to go left and right when I want to, or east and west when I want to, or north and south when I want to. I have to go through these exits and entryways. I will say that's not a big deal in this game. You get used to it pretty quickly. The only thing I will say, and I know we just got through the negatives, but the UI is a little clunky to begin with. I think the UI, you do get used to it a little bit. You can, you know, move things around just a little bit, make them bigger, make them smaller. But because the UI is the way it is, it just feels a little bit hard to get used to. Once you get used to it, it's not a problem, just like the room system. Besides the room system, even better, to be honest. The UI could use a little bit of work, in my opinion, but the map and the room system itself is not a problem at all. I got so used to it so quickly. And because of these rooms being typically very large, I don't really care. I don't mind it. So I want to talk about so much more when it comes to this game. The only thing I will say to kind of finish this off is there are a lot more positives. I'm just not mentioning it's because we all know what we're doing here. We like the game for so many different reasons. We see the positives already. I'm not going to restate those in a long, you know, 10 minute video. I'm going to kind of stop it here. But I will say, guys, if you are interested in finding more content on Brighter Shores, you're at the right spot. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. And the last thing I will say in this video is that the combat is the only thing I really want changed. That's the combat professions themselves, as well as a little bit of the combat style. I think the combat is the only thing that, in my opinion, is a tad lackluster. I think that could change. We still have episode three and four. We also have a lot of updates to come, I'm assuming, to everything, every aspect of the game itself. But this is one spot I would love to see some improvement. This game overall, though, again, 7 or 8 out of 10. It looks really good. It feels really good. And I hope that you guys enjoy it here coming November 6th as well. So thank you guys again. I'll see you all in Brighter Shores.